We turn now to our hair loss series from thinning to winning, looking at a new medical breakthrough for certain people who suffer from the hair loss condition alopecia and why some are choosing to embrace their baldness. Eva Pilgrim is back with that. Good morning, Eva. Good morning. This is huge. A treatment for previously untreatable hair loss. These jack inhibitors have been used to treat arthritis and blood cancer. And now scientists have discovered these same drugs can help regrow hair. From celebs to the girl next door, when hair falls out, it can be devastating. Just all of a sudden one day, look at this line right here. Stars like Jada Pinkett Smith and Tyra Banks sharing their personal battles with alopecia, sometimes caused when the immune system mistakenly attacks hair follicles, causing hair to fall out. For some patients, it's a patch of hair, but for some patients, it can go on and they can lose all of their hair, lose their eyebrows, eyelashes, or entire body hair, and that can really impact quality of life. But there's a new baldness okay, breakthrough so going viral. Do... People oh, so using cool. the newly FDA approved medications called Jack inhibitors to treat their baldness and sharing the results on social media. Hi, my name is Kara. I have like 27 year old Kara Martin, was who was diagnosed at age nine. I was always self conscious. It's the point where I was wearing two or three headbands covering my whole head. On just six months of a Jack inhibitor, Kara's hair went from this to this. I feel like I'm just smiling more because I feel like I don't have to like hide behind my hat. It doesn't necessarily happen for everybody, but it happens for many. I typically see hair growth that's little and tiny at around three to four months and even more after that. But a whole population of women are embracing the bald, like 45 year old flight attendant Felicia Flores, diagnosed with alopecia when she was in her 20s. I hit it with wigs and it was difficult because it stopped my life in, in many ways. And then you start to question your femininity. Eventually, Felicia lost all her hair. Just hiding it was a task in itself. I felt like I wasn't my true self because I, I wasn't telling them that I was bald. So the Georgia native ditched her wigs, embraced her baldness in the process, creating Baldicon, a conference for baldies from all backgrounds. It's like a safe space for us to get together and just empower and inspire each other. So these jack inhibitors have shown truly incredible results. Studies showing some patients with significant hair growth, 80% coverage within just months, guys. Wow, and yeah. you really saw it there. Yeah. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And you can go to goodmorningamerica.com for more tips, suggestions, and support from others who are embracing baldness.